guys and welcome to a new tutorial I just wanted to show you quickly how to do these types of things in blender and remember that I'm a newbie in blender so this is the first time I'm gonna try that out and it's also the first time I'm gonna do a tutorial on my iMac M1 so it's gonna be a little bit of a first for me in, in general but uh, let's get started so I'm gonna open up blender and uh, as you can see, I'm using uh, Blender 2.91.2. And uh, just before we go in, I'm just going to show you, I guess. Uh, no, I can't do that right here, but I'm just going to get started. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to press sh uh, Shift A, and then I'm going to add in a grid. Now, if we go to the uh, wireframe view, you can see it's like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press um, S for scale and then hit the 2 and then enter to get it uh, a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to uh, press the tab button to kind of go into the edit mode. Um, and then I'm going to just use my edge selection tool that you see up here. And I'm going to hold down Alt. Well, I'm going to press every other, oh, all and shift, sorry. And I'm going to press for every other of these lines here. And one more over here. And now that I've selected those, I can press G for grab and then C for the set axis. And I'm just going to pull up, basically. And that's going to give you this view. And I'm just going to go back to this view here. And then, um, yeah, while I had that selected, I could have gone and just hold down shift and alt again, and then I'm going to click on every line here. So, so I'm going to select all the lines here, down there by holding down shift and alt. There we go. No, not the last one. But top and bottom here. And then I'm going to press Control uh, B for bevel. And as you can see, when I start pulling it, I'll get these. And I'm just going to scroll down on my mouse button one time to get a higher res, sort of like this. And then I'm going to press uh, Tab for exit. And it looks like this, a little bit jagged, right? But if you then go into my Modifiers tab over here, and add a subdivision surface and then go up to maybe three in local viewport suddenly it looks much nicer and i'm just going to do this for the printer as well and then adding a solidify basically this is what i did for everybody all of the stuff that i did um, and you got you get yourself this very very simple clean thing if you really want you can go in and right click on them select them right click on them Press Shade Smooth and you get this. Uh, let's just view it a little bit more. So I'm going to add in a plane underneath and then scale it up by pressing the S, S key. And let's just see here. Yeah, so like this. And then I can go into my render view here and you get an idea of how it looks. Now you notice that the, uh, the shadows here looks jagged and that's because I'm using Eevee and apparently it's not really good. You can do something about it i think but normally i would just switch in my render engine over here my render settings i would change it to cycles and then the shadows look nice so when i'm rendering out i'm going to use cycles but for now it's eve because it's a little bit faster to view stuff uh, and okay that's the first one i'm just gonna try and move this a little bit to the side so grab it Press the X key and then move it over here somewhere. Then I'm going to hit Shift A and add in a new grid. Uh, let's go back here. Now I'm going to hide the light, the big uh, plane here, because I don't really want to use that right now. Okay, I'm going to, while this grid, new grid is selected, I'm going to press the S and then uh, 2 for scaling it up again. Hitting the Tab button to go into Edit Mode. And you see the same view as you had before. But now you have a different ma matter here. So if I press, for instance, the um, the vertex selection tool, 
and press this key and then hold down shift pressing I don't know the two keys in this vertice and this vertice maybe maybe also this vertice I'm just gonna try something out here this vertice this vertice this vertice and that vertice let's see that uh, maybe also this and this all right that should do it if i then press g and i set to scale them up you get these very very jagged edges and that's kind of okay i don't really need to have this cursory but and you can do a lot of cool stuff with this so let's just go ahead with this one for for now basically you can choose to just edit this one so press tab again going out and then while this is selected add in a new modifier which is a subdivision surface and immediately you st start to see what happens here if you press 3 to get a high res you see these nice bumps um, basically that's just it and you can just add a solidify to that one and you get a solid and again right click and press shade smooth and you get a much smoother surface all right so that's uh, another way to use it this little tip you just grab it and move it over here all right let's have a, a third one so then shift a choose a grid while it's selected choose s press 2 to scale it up enter and then go into tab to edit mode and let's press the face selection tool instead and let's have a little bit of fun here so if i press this one and that one for instance and then i use extrude so pressing e and then c to get up in the x-axis there we go like this that's cool then if i am clever enough i will actually go in and press the uh, edge selection and then i'm gonna select these guys here right and i'm gonna scale them up so pressing s like that maybe also this one over here as well now if i had chosen them in the same at the same time they would have scaled up differently than they're doing right now uh, at least with this simple method anyway so pressing scale whoa that was too much it's also too way too much yeah we won't do that scale okay here we go like that right okay um you could use a bevel here but actually it's not necessary but i'm gonna choose the face selection tool again hitting that one and that one now at the same time pressing s again and that will actually scale them towards each other which i kind of like and then if i choose this tool over here this extrude region i can go in and click and then extrude to cursor which is pretty cool and then I can press, oh, I should have selected the face before. And perhaps also if I can choose two at the same time, can I then just do this, right? See, that looks really weird. Anyway, that was not what I was intending to do. So I'm just gonna undo that. And then oh, <laughs> I'm gonna go back here and only select one of them, pressing the extrude to cursor view again, going over there, then adding selecting that selecting that one same tool again add here and then while these are selected i would then go back into my selection tool select both these and, and right click and then choose bridge faces and you got this one all right that was kind of what i wanted to do now i'm gonna exit that out so pressing tab then i'm gonna while it's selected again i'm gonna add a modifier which will be the subdivision and suddenly you can already see now that it's already very smooth and cool i think and then pressing f3 uh right click and see it smooth yeah there you have it that's pretty easy right if i select the tab again you can see i still have these edges to to pick on and choose so uh, let's see if i pick the vertices select these ones i maybe need to do the 
ghosting thing, select all these four, and pressing G, I can move that around more freely if I want. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, exit again with the tab. Then go to this one, top view, and then grab to get it over here. So that was a, a third option there. And last, let's see what I can do with the last one. Shift A, add in a grid, pressing the scale to enter, tap, and we are back into edit mode with this one. Mm. Let's see what else can we do. Okay, we can choose one where it's, if I use the proportional editing and I check this one and select the face over here in the middle, and then I'm going to grab it around the C axis. Now you notice this, this little uh, circle pops up. Now if I use the scroll mouse, scroll wheel on my mouse, I can, you know, affect more or less of the surface. So if I want to do this, I can get it to a level like that. Let's just grab it again and pull it up to the C axis. Still is connected. And that's about it. So basically just using the, the transform tools, you know, exit the tab mode, add a modifier, subdivision surface. Again, you see how it already looks promising. Right click in on it, shade smooth, and, you know, add a solidifier. You don't have to add a solidifier, it's just me that want to do that. Uh, I forgot to add one over here, so here we go. All right, and then, you know, you've got four different options really quick, right? Yeah, so that's uh, that's it. Let me just put them back into the center here. Uh, go back to Eevee. Check the plane again. So yeah, that's kind of how you do it. And if I go into my render engine and choose cycles. Uh, okay, yeah, it looks a little bit weird, I can tell. Basically, I guess that's because the plane intersects with the with the thickness. So if I click that one, press the grab, and then the C, and just move it down ever so slightly, it looks much better already. So, so that's uh, that's basically a tutorial on how to quickly manipulate uh, the uh, the different um, yeah the choices here. So yeah. Hope that was uh, helpful and uh, yeah let me know in the comments if you if you think there's anything that should be changed all right thank you